So today we will talk about the management of high INR in patients who are warfarin. So first of all, we will see if there is any bleeding. So in case of any bleeding, whether it is major or minor, we will do two things. First of all, we will stop warfarin. And next, we will give vitamin K. Vitamin K is given by IV root and the dose is usually between 1 mg to 5 mg. In case of any major bleeding, for example, intracranial bleeding, we will give protombin complex concentrate. But if protombin complex concentrate are not available, we can, we can also give fresh frozen plasma. Now, in case of any minor bleeding, like bruising or uh, subconjunctival bleeding, we will repeat the INR after 24 hours. We will not give any protombin complex concentrate or fresh frozen plasma, but we will simply repeat the INR after 24 hours. If after 24 hours the INR is still too high, that is uh, 7 or 8, we will repeat the IV dose of vitamin K. We can safely restart warfarin once the INR level falls below 5. Now, in case there is no bleeding, then we will decide our management depending upon the level of INR. In case the INR level is above 8, we will stop warfarin and we will give oral vitamin K. Note that in case of uh, bleeding, we give IV vitamin K, but in case of no bleeding, we give oral vitamin K. We will repeat the INR after 24 hours, and if the INR still comes too high, then we will repeat the uh, oral dose of vitamin K. We can restart the warfarin once the INR falls below 5. In case the INR level is between 5 to 8, then we will withhold one or two doses of warfarin and uh, we can restart the warfarin after one or two doses, but we will uh, reduce the sub subsequent dose of warfarin. So that was all about the management of high INR in patients who are taking warfarin.